think that rather than all of the awards that she's won, all of the places that she's spoken, I think that the one thing that Alexis probably accomplished is her role as a mentor in the community to young trans women. She's probably impacted more young women in Los Angeles community than probably anybody else I know. I knew her for years. Uh, I knew her at a time where there was no internet and there was not a place where we can really Google transgender and we sort of created this family, you know. Alexis was my boss, co-worker and friend. She was part of my wedding when I got married. She also was a part of my husband's passing. She helped me and helped take care of him. I met her my first day at work. I was introduced to her in the hallway. She had this fabulous feathered hair, knee-high boots. When I first met her, being that she was a young person, trans, out, and really powerful in the way she carried herself and the way she impacted other community members, it was very contagious. When we first had our very first Quest pageant, some remarkable women entered. And when Alexis won that night, she didn't just win for herself, she won for all the winners after her. She was the first trans-specific case manager at Children's, and she showed us the value of hiring from community, allowing community members to tell us what our services should look like. Alexis helped me get my first job at Children's Hospital. So that was a big influence. The way that she did activism and the way that she connected with people in a very down-to-earth way, there was no pretensions, there's no I'm better than you. She was a, a natural leader, but uh, there was also a side to her too that I knew because of our relationship that was very tender and very vulnerable and just uh, wanted to be loved and cared for. We were at home and we were just talking about being positive and what that meant to us and how I learned so much from the fear and some of the stories that many other people wouldn't have known about Alexis when it came to being positive and that brought us closer because that was something she never really talked about. And when Alexis won and, 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 I, and I remember I remember her joy because she was not a pageant girl. She didn't want to show people that, you know, how long her legs were. She wasn't about any of that. But when we told her it was about being a role model, you know, that's why she did it, you know, to really show people that you can uh, be the whole package. She didn't mind being the face of trans women and fighting for trans women's rights and teaching trans women how to fight for their own rights. God, there's so many things I will miss about Alexis. I mean, she had this laugh. I mean, she laughed like a hyena, but it was so beautiful in its, in its own way. There's an empty space in our lives right now, definitely, in our family. I miss you, Alexis, and I love you, Alexis. Thank you so much for giving us the gift of yourself.